All right, hey guys, uh, JT here, and uh, this is for Telegram Sam, uh, a Connect Four contest that she has, uh, you know, for a subscription contest, and uh, very interesting. Now, uh, I had never seen her channel before. I think it was Cosmic Brian, and I went to her channel, and uh, Telegram Sam, I mean T-Rex, uh, the slider, you know, that's one of my very, very favorite albums, uh, Spaceball Ricochet, Ballrooms of Mars are like anthems to me as a kid. Bought that as a 16-year-old kid in 73. Memorable when I picked that album uh, from a grocery store. And that's my original copy over there. Anyhow, Sam has a great channel. She has, uh, she has great style and knowledge and, uh, and the passion to back that up. Now, the first uh, time I saw her channel... She showed a, a Tina Turner record and just the, I mean, it just, the light bulb went off and I knew what I wanted to do and this is what I want to do. So, uh, growing up, uh, partially in Las Vegas, I grew up in Lake Tahoe. Uh, my folks moved me, moved me to Vegas in, uh, 1970, uh, because the, uh, the brand new, uh, beautiful, monstrous uh, mega hotel was being built, the International Hotel. And that's where Elvis uh, uh, made his comeback on July 31st, uh, 1969. And we were there front and center. But something very interesting, the, uh, the very first night, this woman ultimately was paid $1 million for her one night only appearance. And that would be Barbara Streisand. And you might go, Barbara Streisand. Now, this is when she was trying to be cool. She covers uh, Stoney Ann on here, the great uh, Laura Nero uh, pen tune. Uh, I prefer Laura Nero's uh, uh, version a bit better, but Barbara really kills it on, uh, on that version. And uh, she also covers David Bowie um, on, um, on Butterfly, one of her other albums when Barbara was trying to be cool. So, yeah, Barbara uh, opened the hotel, the International Hotel, uh, for the one night only. We were there. I really don't remember a lot about it, but what I do remember was this, was uh, the King, live at the International Hotel, Elvis Presley, uh, for months, the town, uh, back then Vegas only had, uh, 250,000 people in the entire town and Colonel Parker and his crew had plastered, uh, the town with flyers. Elvis makes his big comeback. So, you know, um, my father being an executive at the hotel, he practically lived there. We live four blocks from the hotel with right in the middle of where we lived on Paradise Road. And the internet, the brand new International Hotel was the Las Vegas Convention Center with just killer rock concerts. So I had those two venues right there. So at the International, I would go down there with my dad. You know, uh, some kids are military brats. I was pretty much a hotel brat. I was forced to meet entertainers and be around uh, my sister and I to, uh, you know, to be around that environment. And my dad uh, was just so wonderful. He knew that there might uh, be a time when he wasn't um, able to expose us to so many great uh, shows and entertainers. So he took full advantage of, uh, of getting us to see as many shows as he possibly could. What a great guy. Dad, I love you. And uh, so Elvis at the International, July 21st, July, actually 31st, 1969, Mom, Michelle, and me and uh, James Burton on guitar. Now, to tie, uh, to connect with uh, Sam, her Tina Turner album. Now, here is Ike and Tina Turner. This is uh, live at Carnegie Hall. Uh, my dad would tour me all around the hotel, and they had a lounge with Wayne Cochran and his CC Riders. Unbelievable. They called him the... Uh, the white James Brown. I mean, he was just, if you, if you have any Wayne Cochran, uh, seven inch, uh, 45s or, or vinyl, uh, I mean, you know, soul, funk, blues, R and B rock and roll. The guy was just a killer act. And one of the main 
shows on the Las Vegas Strip in the late 60s and early 70s. And Wayne Cochran would alternate with Ike and Tina Turner in the uh, in the casino lounge. And uh, it was just it was just amazing. So one day my dad walks me behind. He says, here, let me show you something. He we walk in behind the stage backstage of the casino lounge. There is Tina Turner, you know, in her skirt, those legs. And, you know, Ike, I wasn't paying much attention to Ike. I got to be honest with you. And they were rehearsing for their, uh, actually, it was, they didn't even open yet. They were just opening the International. I just, you know, just amazing. I got to stand there and watch the rehearsal. And my dad was uh, eventually, you know, we had to go and I didn't want to go. I mean, it was so captivating. So I got to see a rehearsal for Ike and Tina Turner uh, there in the summer of 1969. Really cool. And uh, next, this hotel was so monstrous and big, the, uh, the gentleman's name that built the hotel was uh, Kurt Kikorian, and it was the very first mega hotel ever to be built in the world, and that just happened to be right down the street, uh, street from where I grew up. But they had a legitimate theater as well. So they had this killer lounge with, uh, you had Kenny Rogers in his first edition, you had um, Ike and Tina Turner, Wayne Cochran and C.C. Riders, Elvis in the showroom, Barbara opening for one night only, ultimately getting paid a million dollars, and then, then you had this. You had the original Broadway play of Hair in the legitimate theater. And one last story. So then uh, on another day, my dad wanted to show me the brand new, beautiful um, off-Broadway or Broadway legitimate theater that was built. Um, and so we go backstage, and I'll never forget, I was 12 years old, going on 13, and the uh, it was just inundated with patchouli oil and, uh, you know, marijuana smoke. I mean, it was just, you know, back then we called it pot or weed. You know, those are 50-year-old, you know, we didn't call it ganja or any of the, you know, any of the uh, newer terms. But, yeah, I mean, it was just like, whoa, it just like knocked you out. And my dad was like looking at me and... But my dad was cool, you know. He, you know, he wanted to show me things and expose me to things. So that was that was really cool. I got to see the cast of Hair uh, as they were rehearsing for their first performance uh, at the International Hotel. Well, that's about it. I just wanted to connect these four, um, you know, these four records. I don't have my Wayne Cochran uh, record ready, and you know, Sam has a great channel. Uh, Telegram Sam and, you know, check her out. And thanks so much. Uh, I was pretty excited to do this, uh, to do this contest. So we'll see you real soon, Sam. Cool. Thanks.